a Corvette in a street race that turned deadly. This is Scott Lewis with tonight's Problem Solver Investigation. Scott. Well, Monica and Huell, the cops caught one of the drivers suspected in this illegal street race. He was charged with murder just today. But the second driver is still out there on the lam. Tonight, the problem solvers join the hunt, hoping to get justice for a it's great lady murder. who is sorely missed. You're about to witness a fiery crash caught on a security camera. Watch the upper left corner of your screen. That's the fireball from a collision that killed 55-year-old Delphia Bryson. Bryson was a passenger in this Saturn driven by her 26-year-old daughter, Kristen. They unknowingly drove into the path of an illegal street race on Dequinder near Eastern Market. A uh, Mustang uh, lined up on the left side of the center line and a Corvette on the right side. Watch the video again. You can see the headlights from the Bryson Saturn coming slowly toward the camera. All of a sudden, two pair of headlights come flying in from the right side of the screen and there's a fireball. The Bryson Saturn is hit head on by this Mustang. Police say the Mustang was going over 100 miles an hour, mm. 150 feet per second. When she would have realized there was a headlight coming at her, she would have had less than a second to react. You would have thought it was hydroplanes that they lie on the set of cars. Just uh, the noise from the two cars, you know, it's a long game. These are not normal cars driving down the road. They're brought out here on trailers. They're specifically set up with uh, aftermarket parts to increase their speed. The street where it happened is all set up for racing. They've got a quarter mile track marked off. The Bryson's car was hit just a few feet before the finish line. You can see the scrape marks on the pavement where they collided. The Mustang, right after the impact, it went airborne and started tumbling. The racers had people out to stop oncoming traffic, but there must have been some miscommunication. Kristen Bryson says when she got to this intersection, instead of stopping her, they waved her on through, right into the oncoming race cars. The man behind the wheel of the speeding Mustang was 40-year-old Troy McRae. Race spectators pulled him from the burning wreckage and rushed him to the hospital. Delphia Bryson wasn't so lucky. Police say spectators did nothing to help her. You know, I'm not the type of person that's out for revenge. That's out of my pay grade. Uh, I'll leave that to someone else, but I do want justice, and I want justice for my wife. She was a great lady. A great lady who always went out of her way to help other people. Just ask these kids from the Burton School in Detroit, where Delphia was a computer technician. They turned out for a candlelight vigil shortly after she was killed. I really want to do it because I miss her. Delphia Bryson was more than a teacher to these kids. She was also their friend and mentor. A lot of people go through life and, and don't understand that they have to give back, that they have to be a part of the community, that they have to love their family, love their students. And, and my wife got that. She understood it. This all went down at 6.30 on a Wednesday evening at the tail end of rush hour. Who would do something this reckless on a city street at that time of day? Cops say this guy did. What is you talking about? You talk, I'm talking about the street race. I wasn't in the street race. I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't in the street no. race. No. No, I wasn't in the street race. Aren't you Troy McBride? What happened to your last and left arm? I wasn't in no street race, man. He's the guy, all right. His left arm was mangled in the crash. And just a few days after I confronted him, police got a warrant charging him with second-degree murder. But the second driver got away. And that's where the problem solvers come in. We're working with Detroit police and crime stoppers to identify the guy in the second car. And we know it's a, a newer, dark-colored Corvette. And the owner of the vehicle goes by the street name of Omar. And we're trying to find out information to identify him. Who's the other driver? Who's Omar? I don't know. Who was driving the Corvette? I don't know. Seven. You can't fool me, man. I know it's you. Well, if you think you know it's me, man. I do know it's you. Why don't you just uh, do the right thing for once and give up the name of the other driver? These people are trying to find some peace. Sir, I don't know what you're talking about. She's not giving up anything, but Delphia Bryson's family won't rest until the second guy is identified and charged. The question is, how many more innocent people like Delphia are going to die before something is done to stop this insanity? Every year in Detroit, people are getting killed in these street races. Police count eight dead just in the last two years. And the danger increases as the speeds get faster and faster. Back in the day, maybe the fastest one might have ran 12 seconds and a quarter mile. Now you got maybe nine second cars running in the streets. What are you talking miles per hour there? Uh, anywhere between uh, 130 and 150. Paul Humphrey Sr. is a former street racer who's made it his mission to get these people off the road. 
he's produced a documentary on the dangers of street racing. He's appealed to the city council to build a drag strip where people can pay a fee to race safely. Uh, it'll make the streets safer. Uh, the city will get some revenue from it. And, you know, everybody will be safe and happy. Anything to get them off the streets and, and endangering the citizens of this city, I, I don't want anyone else to go through what my family has had to go through. This case is far from over. Late developments today on the Mustang driver who crashed into the Bryson's car. Just a few hours ago, Troy McRae was arraigned in Detroit's 36th District Court on nine counts, including second-degree murder. A not guilty plea was entered and bond was set at $125,000. And now back to the second driver who got away. We really want to find this guy. Remember, the car involved is a dark-colored Corvette and the owner goes by the street name of Omar. If you have information on this case, you can call me here at Fox 2 or you can call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. You don't have to give your name and Crime Stoppers is offering a reward of up to $1,000. Scott, this was a bit unusual in that it took place at 6.30 at night, but this isn't usually when these races are, are happening. No, most of the time they're like 2 or 3 in the morning on the weekends, but that's still dangerous. And I'll tell you, Delthea Bryson wouldn't have been involved in this accident had it not been for a typical act of kindness. On the night this happened, she stayed late at school because one of the kid's parents were late picking him up, and that put her in the path of these oncoming cars because she left school late that night. Somebody knows something out there. Let's take a couple